G'day guys, we're here at Mix Motorsport tonight with Nathan Ferrugia's Twin Turbo LS RX3. You would recognise it from a couple of other videos that we've done. Uh, Dale here from Castle Little Exhaust been doing a little bit more work on the car. So Dale, can you tell us a bit about what you've been doing with it? Yeah, we've upgraded from the Sport 2000 to the Elite 2500. Uh, in the process, we fitted an electronic throttle, uh, fitted a new drive shaft sensor, uh, mechanical fuel pump, and a few other little bits and pieces to it. Perfect. So this is all in preparation for Jamboree this year in Queensland. Yep, correct. So stuff like, I suppose, fitting the drive shaft sensor in an event like that, what are you planning to do with the boost control using that setup? Because uh, this car runs radials, you've got to be pretty sensitive on the boost control. So uh, we can map the boost control over the drive shaft RPM. So as the car goes down the track, we can start off at five or six pounds of boost and then end up at 40 pounds of boost if we want to. So, that it's using an electronic throttle as well. So yep. what are you using the electronic throttle for? Uh, at the moment, it's just purely throttle, but in the future, it'll, it may involve some uh, torque management processes that um, Haltech will, will bring online soon. Perfect, and I notice as well that even on such a massive engine like this, I heard it start dead cold and it starts and it idled up and it came down, just like yeah. a factory car. It's just like a factory VE Commodore, it just, just works. Good luck, and I suppose we'll see you at Jamboree. Yeah, no, thanks to Mick for letting us use his dyno. That was, um, made life very easy. <laughs> yeah, definitely having the hub dyno was, was, a, yeah, was a big help. Thanks very much for Dale, Castle Hill Exhaust, Mick from Mix Motorsport for lending the dyno. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. My name's Scott, and we'll see you next time.